friends, so today I'm going to be repairing my uh, $50 ice maker. This was a $50 Facebook find, and it works fine. Um, don't pay too much attention to the brand. GE, Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, pretty much everybody sells this exact same machine. Um, the controls have changed a little bit in the last 40 years, but not much else has. If you remove this cover, it'll make it a little more efficient. It holds more ice than I can possibly use. machine so what's wrong with this is somebody did a shenanigan repair here wrong type of wire um, and this is why the machine is uh, available they probably called Sparky's appliance scam and uh, were quoted probably several hundred dollars to fix this so um, anyway it's held in with two screws and then this cover is supposed to slide off so we're gonna heat the cover up and then we're gonna pull it off here So, um, and the reason we're heating it up is to expand the plastic, because um, it's just being really difficult to get off. Um, so the plastic will heat up before the metal, and it should loosen this up and make it a little easier to get it off here. And if that doesn't work, we're going to use some vice grips and a vice. So in the spirit of trying everything, I'm going to try a pair of pliers to see if that improves my grip. and water got this off and we're gonna go ahead and start rebuilding it all right so the light just comes off so that's easy and then from there we need some Torx bits to loosen these wires now let's just see if it's this size yeah feels like it is cutters. I'll be right back. Okay, so in order to make the repair you need some nichrome resistance wire. Uh, the thickness of it and the alloy determine its resistance. You're aiming for about one ohm per foot for this. Um, and so this product, which I'll put a link to in the description, is a 22 gauge nichrome Nichrome 60, and it should do what we're looking for. I got this on Amazon for like 10 bucks with free shipping. Shut up in a few days. Uh, there's 50 feet here. It should take approximately 16 feet to do this, if I remember correctly. So anyway, um, let's get to it. And the first thing we need to do is unstring it. So rather than fight with this wire, I'm going to nip it. I'm using some... Play-Doh Model 170 shears. Um, 
bought these on, I either bought these locally or I bought them on AliExpress. Um, I don't know if they're real or counterfeit. I don't really care. Um, they weren't much and they do the job. So now that that is good, we can just simply unlace it. Now there are a few different styles of this. So um, if yours doesn't look exactly like this, don't worry. It's not a big deal. Um, if you have the older uh, kind that has individual elements, um, I feel sorry for you. Those are really, really old, really, really obsolete. And uh, this is actually the upgrade from those. And then there's a clear one that they make today that's easier to lace. They all do the same thing. And as you can see, this just pulls right out. So the first thing we're going to do, and do not kink the wire as you're drawing it, because it will cause you grief. So I'm not going to even attempt to undo however this is held under there with. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull out what I've got. And then I'm going to pull a couple extra inches and cut it. Unfortunately, I um, should not have pulled the wire out the way I did because it's proving to be rather difficult to work with. I'll pay for that misdeed later. That doesn't look like a particularly good connection there, but okay, so. have to have something to pull against in order to lace so that work there is a different way to do that I'll show it to you on the next one all right so now that that's in what I need to do is carefully thread this through about that it's not important it's going to happen on both sides take care not to trap any wires as you do this and not to kink it So as I do this, I'm just simply pulling it 
tight. We're aiming for guitar, guitar strings. And, you know, of course, what I'm doing is not looking anything like what came out of here, but I just want it to cut the ice up. I don't really care if it's perfect or not. And I will go back and straighten this here in a minute. Hopefully, uh, I did not screw up and I have enough wire. Because this sure doesn't look like it's long enough. But... I screwed up. This ain't gonna work. Well, that's interesting. And again, rather than fix that, we're just gonna pull it out like this. There is another faster way to remove this, and no, you cannot splice it. So for the moment, I'm just going to use these to tie this in place. So I need to untangle the wire here. I have a hard time believing this is 50 feet as well. So the screws don't hold this in. What holds this in is the tension, which is actually probably a crappy design. So I just twisted the wire around the screw and I'm just going to tighten it up. There we go. Spool, this would have to be 25 feet, and this is not 25 feet. There is no way. I'm in a 20 foot garage. No way 
way that I'm pulling 25 feet through this thing. as I'm tightening it, or as I'm threading it, I'm tightening it. And I'll just lace it back through here. So these wires are snagging the uh, material as it goes through and causing it to try to kink. You just gotta not let that happen. So 50 feet would have been enough, or supposedly 50 feet, I promise you there's more like 30 feet on that spool, but it would have been enough, um, except that I didn't trim the other one to the right length. So um, that spool is good for about one of these, and that's fine. I'm, I'm happy to pay $9 for that. I am going to complain to Amazon, though, because that's not 50 feet. There is no way. I went through the wrong hole, so watch that you don't do that, and if you do, fix it. And again, at the end of the day, this just creates a little bit of heat to melt through the ice. It is not critical that 
it is perfect, but we will make it pretty good. You will see. there would have been just enough for two and again there's just no way in hell that that's 50 feet that's irritating I don't like being ripped off which is probably why I'm doing my own appliance repair alright now we've got to figure out how that went there and there and there alright so this isn't so bad So the secret sauce here, all right, that's there, I guess it just doesn't matter which of these goes where, because of the way this works. These are in parallel series. So we're just going to start it. And then we're going to bring this over as we work on our tensioning. And now at this point, I'm going to... Actually, I'm not going to do anything with that. some vice grips because I think we can get this a lot tighter. Actually, on second thought, I'm gonna, I am going to trim this and I'm not going to use vice grips because I don't want to destroy it. Alright, yeah, that would have been enough to do the other one, but yeah, we got ripped off. So what I'm going to do is twist this. Plastic. But what you can do is bring it around the corner here. anchoring it on the screw with several turns and then that's going to allow me to work
So we're just looking for a little strumming action there. And then we're going to complete that by twisting it. Oh, it went the wrong way. We actually want it to tighten. So go under and then over. Oops. And if you do that, you need a new piece of wire. So I just snap it. And unfortunately, that ruins it. So let me order another spool of wire and try again.